What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the RE Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. So let me guess, you clicked on this video because there are a ton of PC part sales going on right now on Amazon, Newegg, you know, all those places, and you're just simply overwhelmed by the amount of parts and configurations out there that you can build. Well, don't worry, your boys got you. Today I'll be taking you through three tiers of computer build, ranging from a starter build of just over $500 to an over $2,000 gaming beast of a computer. So stick around because to be frank, I worked really hard on these. Are you tired of that annoying Windows activation watermark on your desktop? VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings and windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and paste your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. Okay, like I said in the intro, we're gonna be taking a look at three builds today. And for all three of them, I'll be giving you an AMD based option and an Intel based option. So really it's more like six builds because there are pros and cons to either one. AMD currently has a crazy sale going on for a lot of their previous generation processors, GPUs and motherboards, which makes all that stuff very desirable right now. But Intel also has some very nice current and previous generation options that can offer a lot of performance for the price. So let's get into it. Okay, let's get started with the first build. This is the under $600 starter build. Now this is the same price range I used when I built my first PC. And I think it is very reasonable as the two main consoles in the market right now cost about the same price. Now this will be able to play games at high refresh rates at 1080p and also step into 1440p gaming if you want to because of the graphics card we're using. Let's take a look. So getting things started right here, we're gonna be using the AMD Ryzen 5 4500 right here for our processor. Now the reason for this is because it is just such a good value right now, coming in at only $79. And now you guys might already ask me, why wouldn't you use like the 5500? Well, 5500 currently right now, I believe is around still like $104 on Amazon. So uh, this is still the better value and it's just about the same performance. So you're not losing too much there. Um, and I went ahead and paired that with the Gigabyte B450M DS3H, very common motherboard for a build of this price range. And it comes in again at a very, very cheap price. I went ahead and threw in 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 cast latency 16 memory. Now, if you can find a DDR4 3600 megahertz kit, go ahead and do that too. But this one just happened to be such a good price, only $40 for 16 gigabytes, which is right around where you want to be uh, at this time of year right now. So that's a really good deal. And for storage, we're going to go ahead and go with a one terabyte M.2 drive for this system because you can actually make that happen, seeing as these ones right here, these Silicon Power A60s, I use these all the time in builds. They're only $57.49 right now, which is really great. You can find these on Amazon as well, and they always fluctuate in price, but right now they're super cheap. Um, so you can get a terabyte of space there. And then our really big thing that we that's gonna power this system is our RX 6600 right here. So right now on a new egg, it's actually $189.99 uh, because it has a $50 rebate as you guys can see right here. Um, and you actually get two free games with these cards right now. All the AMD cards, you're gonna hear a lot of them today. Uh, they come with some free games and everything too. So it's a really great value. Not only do you get your system, but you get some free games. So there you go. And then I went ahead and threw this case right here to put all your stuff in because it's only $42 on Amazon right now. The Cooler uh, Master Masterbox Q300L. It's a micro ATX case and seeing as we're using a micro ATX board, we can still do it. So if you guys want a full, uh, you know, a, uh, a mid tower, you can go ahead and do that if you want to. But this was a very good price. So I went and threw that in there. Um, but you can always upgrade to a, you know, a, a full mid tower if you guys choose to. And then for a power supply, Cooler Master's power supply seem to be on sale right now. So I went ahead and threw in a Cooler Master G600, 600 watt, 80 plus gold certified power supply, which should do great for you guys. And, uh, you know, have plenty of power as this, this system's only really pulling 280 
81 watts right now, you don't even need that much power, but you might as well get it for future proofing if you guys want to. Which brings our system to a, a total after mail-in rebates and promo discounts and stuff like that to only $532 for the AMD version right here, you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Intel version. So the only thing that you change here is just going to be the processor and your motherboard. So for the processor, I went ahead and threw in the Core i3 10105F. Uh, because it is a great value processor for Intel. It's only $79.97 right now, so very similar price to what the AMD one was. And then I threw in an ASUS Prime B560M motherboard for this, so you guys have all the features of the B6, B560 chipset, uh, and you got the basically the same other stuff on this build as well. But uh, again, these, mother, these B560 motherboards are a bit more expensive, so you're gonna pay a little bit more for this build, coming in at $565.40, but you guys are gonna see similar performance, so really, it's up to you with which uh, system you guys wanna go with. All right, now moving on to build number two, which is the $1,000 build. So this is gonna be a mid to high tier gaming rig that will be capable of maxing games at 1080p and well over it on some games, and also playing some mid to high refresh rate 1440p games with very nice details. Let's get into it. So our first build right here, we're gonna do the AMD build once again. You can see, you probably already guessed it, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ryzen 5 5600X, 3.7 gigahertz, six core processor, because it's coming in at a very nice price right now, at just over $150 which is a great value for that fast of a six core processor. Super good value right there. And I went ahead and threw in a B550 uh, Riptide Micro ATX motherboard. So yes, I'm using a Micro ATX board again, you guys, but the reason for that is just because it's such a good value. It still has plenty of M.2 slots for storage and everything like that, and it and it is capable of a lot of uh, upgraded memory if you guys wanna do that. So it's a great board either way. If you guys wanna upgrade to a full-size ATX board, you totally can, It's that's your choice. But uh, this one will work, and it's a great price. Uh, for memory, we are now stepping up to 32 gigs of RAM in this system, and we are able to find the Team Group T-Force Delta. This is a meta in uh, a lot of my computer builds right here. So uh, 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz cast latency 18 memory, so it's gonna be nice and fast, uh, and at that sweet spot for speed as well for you guys. And that comes in at just under $100, which is a great price for 32 gigs of RAM, you guys. A really, really great price. And now, with this tier of build, you guys are gonna probably want some more space because you're gonna have a lot more games. So what I suggest is you always have a one terabyte or at least 500 gig for your boot drive to have your you know main use programs and then Windows on, of course. Uh, but I personally like to go for a one terabyte just in case I have a few th extra things I wanna have on my main drive. And then I went ahead and added for you guys a two terabyte drive as well to go ahead and make sure you have plenty of space for games, uh, other programs, you know, media, whatever you guys may be doing, maybe you're streaming and you're saving some of your gameplay, that'll give you a lot of space to do that. So that's why I went with those two things for storage and those are the Silicon Power A60s once again because they're just such a great value. The one terabyte is 57 like I said before and the two terabyte is 119, so just 120 bucks which is basically double what the other one is. Very, very self-explanatory. So the big change here with this system is going to be our graphics card once again and now we are going to step up to an RX 6700 XT 12 gigabyte. So yes, with this graphics card you guys are gonna be 1440p gaming to the stars, and it's gonna be very, very nice. You're gonna be able to probably max a lot of your games or get close to it, depending on what the game is. So it's gonna make for a very, very nice gaming experience for you guys, it's a great card. Uh, and then I also changed the case on this one. We are able to grab the Fantex Eclipse G360A, which is a great case, already comes with a bunch of RGB fans and everything like that, and a tempered glass side panel. Uh, so it'll make your build look a little bit better aesthetically as well, because for a thousand dollar build, it might as well look a little bit better. And then for the power supply, I stepped it up to a 700 watt uh, 80 plus certified power supply from Thermaltake because it's really cheap. You get 700 watts for $47. Now you guys can go with something a little bit better. Uh, you can try to find a, you know, a more, I don't know, better certified power supply if you choose to, but this will work and it keeps it, you know, around our price range. Uh, we're gonna be at about $1,011 with the AMD build. Now let's go ahead and check out the Intel build. So on the Intel side, just like last time, it's gonna be exactly the same. Only difference here is it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna be using the i5-12400F, surprise, shocker, and then we're gonna be using a B660 motherboard. So I went ahead and got the ASRock Phantom Gaming motherboard because it's right at $100 
and it has all the features that you're gonna need for this kind, this this chip, and uh, for what we're using here with this build. So either one is gonna be a great build. Again, with the Intel, you're gonna pay just a little bit more money, coming in at 1,040. The other one was like I think $30 cheaper. But again, you know it's a toss-up, you guys. Whatever you guys feel like doing. If you're an Intel fan person, you can go ahead and grab that. But if you're an AMD person, you can grab the other one too. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and step into our over $2,000 build. So these builds are meant to play games at very high refresh rates at 1440p or even step into 4K gaming and play games at very nice detail. So it really just depends on your use case and how you game. So let's check them out. Now again here, we're gonna be starting with the AMD build and you guys may be a little surprised, but I actually am going to be using the newest AMD processors for this list right here and their new motherboards too because guys, it's actually a really good value. It seems to be a better value right now because the Ryzen 5 7600X is actually such a good processor for the price of $300. And another benefit to using this socket, the AM5 socket, is that AMD have said that they're going to use this, this socket for quite a long time. So it should extend the longevity of your processor or even your board if you wanna swap a new processor into it later on. So like I said, we're gonna do the Ryzen 5 7600X and then we're gonna pair that with a Gigabyte B650M Aorus Elite micro ATX motherboard. And again, we're using a micro ATX motherboard because it comes in at under $200, $189.99 on Newegg right now, so it's a good value. It has plenty of M.2 uh, storage spots that are all Gen 4 and everything like that. So it's a great board. It's just a little smaller, you guys. So I don't think anybody's going to really care about that. Unless you want a full ATX board, you can pay a bit more, but that's up to you. Now, the Ryzen 5 7600X doesn't actually come with a CPU cooler, so we have to buy one. So we're going to be using this Deepcool AK620 because it is a huge cooler that is supposed to perform really, really well, and it still only comes in at about $65 on Amazon. So. Really, really good price to performance there. Now for memory, again, you gotta pick up DDR5 memory with this kind of thing, but it actually isn't so bad because this kit of T4's Vulcan memory, DDR5 memory at 5600 megahertz, cast latency 36, is, is only 150 bucks. So for DDR5 memory, that's not a bad deal for 32 gigs of memory. So we're doing all right there. And for storage, we're gonna be going with our one terabyte, two terabyte combo again. And now this time we're gonna actually step it up a bunch though, and we're gonna go with two Gen 4 drives, because why not get the speed if you can have it, and we actually can do it with our motherboard as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the Kingston KC3000 one terabyte for our boot drive and our main system programs drive. And uh, as you see, it's only 100, about $103 on Amazon, and guys, most of the, some of the high-end Gen 3 drives are still going for like $99 right now. So this is actually a really good value. And then for our main two terabyte to put our games and our, you know, uh, whatever, our, our media on and whatnot to load really fast, we're gonna be going with the Kingston Fury Renegade two terabyte. Guys, I have a couple of these in my own system back there and I can vouch, extremely fast, Unreal drives, I love them. And again, it's about just, you know, $100 more for the other terabyte, which is totally fine. So moving on to the biggest part of these builds and that is the graphics card. We're gonna be getting to go with a 6900 XT 16 gig card for all of these. And the reason we're doing this guys is because it is $655 for this beast of a graphics card. Like I said, you guys can be maxing out games at 1440p and playing games at insane frame rates even at 4K depending on your settings, guys. So this is just such a good value. Of course, you could still go with something like an uh, a, a RTX 3080 if you wanted to go NVIDIA, but I still don't think you're gonna find as good a deal as you have right here with the 6900 XT and you're gonna get per comparable performance. So in my opinion, Go with this card because the AMD stuff is just such a good value right now. For the case, we stepped it up again with a Corsair IQ 4000X, just such a really nice looking case. Uh, RGB fans already in it, it's got a fan hub already in it as well, and it's a very popular case, got a tempered glass side panel, all the good stuff, and it comes in at under $150. So for a build of this price range, you're gonna want a case with all those kind of luxuries, so that's what we're getting you. And then of course, we went with an ASUS ROG Strix 850 watt gold certified power supply that's fully modular, so you can take advantage of only using the cables that you want to and make everything look really clean and have plenty of power to go with it. So the system go ahead, went ahead and topped out at just under $2,000, it's actually $1927.70 with the $10 mail-in rebate. So it's actually under what I wanted to spend on this. I, I was planning on going over, 
but uh, this one didn't. So it's actually such a good value to go with the newer Ryzen stuff. I can't believe I'm even saying that, but it actually is because of the pricing that they have on here right now. Now, if you guys are looking at this list going, but Ricky, why did you not use the 5800X 3D? Well, I made a same build or similar build using that processor and just a B550 board that, that I found as cheap as I could and DDR4 memory as well. And guys, it's actually a little bit more expensive, unfortunately, and that is because you cannot find the 5800X 3D for the price that you guys probably want to find it at. It was on sale for $329. Now, if you can find it at that price, it may be worth doing, you guys, but even at that price, it still might be better to go with this newer Ryzen 5 build, and that is because of the longevity of that socket. Now, if you go with the 5800X 3D, yeah, you might get some better performance in certain games, but the AM4 socket is done. You're not gonna be able to go anywhere with that. When you wanna upgrade, you're gonna have to upgrade to an AM5 motherboard anyway. So most likely, it's probably better to just go with this unless you really want that, that exact processor. But everything else in the, in the build is the exact same, so don't even worry about it. Now let's move on to Intel. So if you're gonna build the Intel side, we're just gonna switch out the Ryzen 5 for the Core i7-13700K because it is an unreal 16-core processor. Um, again, it's more expensive, but guys, you're gonna be getting some insane performance with this processor. I have the, the 12700K in my gaming rig, and I can already attest that it, it's unreal. It's really, really nice. Uh, and then I went ahead and threw in a Z790 motherboard in here. Um, so you have all the newest features for the build. And everything else on it, you guys, is exactly the same, only you're just gonna be paying a little bit more here. You're gonna be paying over about uh, $2,030. So if you wanna go with Intel, you totally can because that's gonna net you a lot of performance as well. All right, everyone, those are the builds. So I hope this video helped you at least get a starting point for putting together your next PC. And as a bonus, I've actually linked my how to build a PC playlist down below so that if you're lost on that process as well, those videos should help you out a ton. I also seriously encourage you to take a look at the links down in the description below because all of the parts that I talked about in today's video for all of the builds will be listed down there to making the buying process extra easy for you guys. Also, let me know what you think of my build ideas down in the comments and let me know if you guys would do the exact same build or maybe you would do something different. But that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to like the video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and I will see you all in the next one.